Hi, I'm Selena Fennick. I'm a fantasy artist and I've spent almost my life painting fairies and fantasy worlds. You may have seen some of my artworks before. I've also now written and illustrated a young adult fantasy novel called Memories Wake. Some of the illustrations you'll be seeing in this video are from the book. It's a fantasy story, of course, about a girl from our world who is lost in a fantasy world. I've always liked this concept because who doesn't dream of escaping to some fantasy land? But this isn't a normal through the wardrobe or down the rabbit hole story. There is a very specific reason why our main character ends up in the magical world. It's not by accident. There's a lot going on that has brought the main character to the fantasy realm, but it's going to take her a while to work out what it is because she doesn't know where she is, where she's from, or even who she is. She's not an idiot, she's just had her memory stolen. So that's why she ends up with the name Memory from the title Memory's Wake. The story is set in the land of Val. I wanted to create a setting with a Victorian fairyland theme. So imagine a place like England at the turn of the century where they were having that big fairy craze with um, you know the Cottingley fairies, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan and all of that amazing Art Nouveau fairy art that everyone was crazy for back then. But in a land where fairies are very real and accepted part of day-to-day -day life and so is magic. Aval is of course a bit behind the times compared to our world and is strictly an iron-free society. So the people there rely on their simple magic for day-to-day -day convenience like lights. Memory is in trouble from the first moment she arrives in Aval, running for her life from wizard hunters and their dragon while she still has no idea who she is or why she's being chased. But she also makes friends quickly as well. The sweet and shy Eloran is with her right from the very start. It's sort of a, a bit of a love-hate relationship between Memory and Eloran. Uh, Memory desperately needs a friend, someone to guide her through this new world while she's trying to work out what's going on. But she is totally envious of the stunning Eloran, who seems to hog all of the attention. There's also a mysterious man in the forest who may or may not want to help Memory. Soon they also meet Rowan, a deviously charming thief with a noble heart and smart tongue. He knows a secret about Aloran that raises the stakes for all of them. Storytelling is very important to me. I wanted my story to be more than just a cliché fantasy. It still may seem to have a few cliché setups. I mean, amnesia, come on. I worked hard to create a solid story with lots of twists and surprises and real motivation and reasons for the things that are happening that, that make it so much more than that. There's no big light versus dark pure good versus pure evil battle. Every person in the book is just a real person with their own lives, their own goals and reasons for what they do. I really hope readers enjoy Memories Wake. It's available as an ebook and also paperback and hardcover. The paperback and the hardcover are the two versions that include the 44 black and white illustrations that I've done for the novel. I worked really hard to create a quality book in every way. With drafting, editing, formatting, proof checking, copy editing, I've read my story more times than I can count. And I envy all of you who get to read it now for the very first time.